A significant chapter in aviation history closed for American travelers. The Boeing 747, a plane so famous it was called the Queen of the Skies, is no longer used for passenger flights by any major US airline. For nearly 50 years, this giant jetliner was a symbol of American air travel innovation and luxury. It made international flights more accessible to millions of people. Seeing its distinctive hump shape at an airport always brought a sense of excitement and adventure. The decision to retire this magnificent aircraft was not made lightly, but it marks a major shift in how airlines operate in the modern world, moving away from four-engine giants towards smaller, more efficient planes. The final farewell was an emotional moment for pilots, crew and passengers alike who had grown to love this iconic plane. The last time a US airline flew passengers on a Boeing 747 was a day many aviation fans remember well. Delta Airlines operated the final scheduled flight on December 19, 2017. This flight flew from Seoul, South Korea, to Detroit, Michigan. It was a historic journey that concluded the 747's long and storied service with American carriers. Following this flight, Delta organized a special farewell tour for employees and enthusiasts, allowing them one last chance to fly on the beloved jet. This final journey was a tribute, a way to say a proper goodbye to a machine that had served so faithfully for so long and had become a true icon in the sky. The retirement marked the end of an era for jumbo jets in the United States passenger market. The end of the 747 passenger service in America was not a sudden event, but a gradual process. United Airlines had retired its last 747 just a month before Delta in November 2017. Both airlines, the last two major US operators of the passenger jumbo jet, recognized that the plane's time had passed. The aviation world had changed dramatically since the 747 first took to the skies in 1969. New technologies and new economic realities made it difficult for the four-engine giant to compete. The retirement was a practical business decision, but it felt like a personal loss for many who associated the 747 with the golden age of air travel, a time of glamour and possibility that this plane helped to create for so many people around the world. This was not just another airplane being retired, it was a cultural icon taking its final bow. Pilots who had spent their careers in its cockpit shared stories of its smooth handling and commanding presence. Flight attendants remembered the grand staircases and spacious cabins that made service a unique experience. Passengers recalled their first time flying on the upper deck, a special treat that made any journey feel extraordinary. When it was introduced by Pan Am in 1970, it completely changed the game. Its massive size could carry more than twice the number of passengers as the next largest jet of its time, the Boeing 707. This dramatic increase in capacity meant that airlines could lower the price of tickets, making international travel affordable for the middle class for the first time in history. Suddenly, flying across oceans was no longer a luxury reserved for the very wealthy. One of the most iconic features of the 747 was its distinctive hump. This unique design element was created because Boeing originally believed that supersonic jets would soon take over passenger travel. They designed the 747 so that it could be easily converted into a cargo plane by adding a nose that could be hinged open. The cockpit was placed above the main deck to make this possible, creating the famous upper deck. While supersonic passenger travel never became mainstream, this upper deck became a symbol of luxury. Airlines often configured it as an exclusive lounge, a piano bar or a first-class dining room, adding a touch of glamour that made flying on the 747 a truly special and memorable experience for everyone on board. The sheer scale of the 747 was awe-inspiring and captured the public's imagination. It was the first wide-body jet, featuring two aisles instead of one, which made the cabin feel incredibly spacious and comfortable compared to the narrow-body jets that came before it. For decades, it was the largest passenger aircraft in the world, earning it the well-deserved nickname Jumbo Jet. Its four powerful engines gave it immense range and reliability, allowing it to connect far-flung cities with non-stop flights. The 747 became the flagship aircraft for major airlines around the globe and was even chosen to serve as Air Force One the official aircraft of the President of the United States, cementing its status as a symbol of power and prestige. It appeared in countless movies, television shows and news reports, becoming instantly recognizable to people everywhere, even those who had never flown on one.
it represented the pinnacle of American engineering and ambition during the late 20th century. Flying on a 747 was a milestone event for many people, a core memory from a family vacation or a significant business trip. Its reign as the Queen of the Skies was long and glorious, and it left an indelible mark on the world by making it a smaller, more connected place for all of us. The main reason US Airlines retired the majestic Boeing 747 from passenger service comes down to simple economics. The Queen of the Skies has four massive engines, and keeping all four of them fueled and maintained is extremely expensive. In an industry where fuel costs are one of the biggest expenses, running a four-engine jet is a significant financial burden. Newer airplanes were being developed that could fly just as far, carrying almost as many people but with only two engines. These twin-engine jets, like the Boeing 777 and the Airbus A350, are far more fuel-efficient. They burn significantly less fuel per passenger, which translates directly into huge savings for the airlines and more competitive ticket prices. Another major factor was a shift in the way airlines planned their routes. The 747 was designed for a hub-and-spoke model, where passengers would fly from smaller cities to a large central airport or hub and then board a giant 747 for a long-haul international flight. However, modern aviation has moved towards a point-to-point -point model. Newer, long-range twin-engine jets like the Boeing 787 Dreamliner are smaller and more versatile. They can fly directly between smaller cities, bypassing the big hubs altogether. This is more convenient for passengers and allows airlines to offer more direct routes. The giant 747 was simply too big to fill on many of these less traveled routes, making it less flexible for modern network planning. While the 747 was a marvel of its time, aircraft technology has advanced considerably over the last five decades. The new generation of planes is built with lighter composite materials, features more advanced aerodynamics, and is equipped with sophisticated computer systems that optimize every phase of flight for maximum efficiency. These improvements mean that newer planes are not only cheaper to fly, but also quieter and more environmentally friendly. The 747, with its older design and heavier metal construction, simply could not compete with the performance and operating costs of these modern marvels. Airlines, always looking to modernize their fleets and reduce their carbon footprint, naturally chose the newer, more efficient options available to them. It is important to remember that some 747s are still flying today, just not with passengers in the main cabin. The very feature that gave the plane its iconic hump, the ability to be converted for cargo, has given it a second life. The Boeing 747 freighter remains one of the most capable cargo aircraft in the world. Its massive payload capacity and the unique ability to load oversized freight through its hinged nose make it invaluable for global logistics companies. So, while you may no longer be able to buy a passenger ticket on a US Airlines 747, the Queen of the Skies still rules the world of air freight, continuing to carry goods and materials across the globe every single day. The idea of the Boeing 747 making a grand return to passenger service in the United States is a wonderful thought, but it would require some truly revolutionary changes to become a reality. The biggest obstacle is and remains its four thirsty engines. For the Queen to ever fly passengers again, she would need a complete engine overhaul. This would mean designing and building entirely new engines that are dramatically more fuel efficient, perhaps utilizing next generation technologies like advanced composites and ceramics. These engines would have to rival the performance of the best twin engine jets on the market today, a massive engineering challenge that would cost billions of dollars in research and development and take many years to perfect. Beyond engine technology, the fuel itself would likely need to change. The aviation industry is under increasing pressure to reduce its environmental impact. A four-engine jumbo jet returning to service would face intense scrutiny over its carbon emissions. One possible path forward could be the widespread adoption of sustainable aviation fuels, or SAFs. These are biofuels made from renewable sources like plants or waste products. If SAFs became affordable, plentiful and capable of powering a plane as large as the 747 without a loss in performance, it could help to offset the environmental concerns. However, the production and distribution of SAFs are still in their early stages, making this a long-term solution at best for the industry. Furthermore, the very structure of the aircraft would need to be reimagined. 
To compete with modern planes, a future 747 would need to be built with lightweight composite materials instead of the traditional aluminum alloys. This would reduce the plane's overall weight, making it more fuel efficient and extending its potential range. The wings would likely be redesigned for better aerodynamics, and the internal systems would be replaced with state-of-the-art digital avionics. In essence, it would have to be a completely new airplane that just happens to look like the classic 747. The cost of such a massive undertaking makes it highly unlikely that any airline would invest in it. In conclusion, while the dream of seeing the Queen of the Skies grace American passenger terminals again is a powerful one, the reality is that her reign has likely come to a permanent end. The world of aviation has moved on to a new era defined by efficiency, flexibility, and environmental responsibility. The legacy of the Boeing 747, however, is eternal. It was the plane that made the world smaller, introduced millions to the joy of flight, and served as a symbol of human ambition for half a century. Although we may not fly on her as passengers anymore, the Queen's impact will be felt for generations, and she will forever hold a special place in the hearts of all who love to fly.